everyone, this is episode 1 of a Pygame Isometric Game Tutorial. There will be more episodes in the future, but today we're just going to work on working on the main rendering to get everything rendered in. So let's get into making this. Okay, so for the first step, we need to actually make the... We actually need to include all the Pygame stuff, so import Pygame. Oh, and I accidentally shift enter. It's not good. From pygame dot locals import all. This is gonna give us access to all the pygame stuff. <laughs> so now what we need here is a class for our game. This is where we store our entire game and all the functions for our game. Oh, for that right there. So once we have all this, everything set up, what we can do is we can start defining some basic variables like self.screen is equal to pygame.display.set mode. Let's go over here and create a screen size for it. Screen size is equal to let's go here with 800 comma 600 this would be 800 pixels long and 600 pixels tall so now we also need a clock for rendering everything not rendering, but to set the frame rate. Self dot clock is equal to a pie game dot clock or no dot time dot clock Now if we test this there should be no errors. Now let's define some more functions that we can call in here. So we need a def main. This is where we store everything. We need a def update. This will be every frame. And now we need to start. This will be called on the first frame. Now we have our three basic functions, and we're going to create some other functions we called within them to like help run it, like events. This is what's gonna close everything and handle every event. So what we want to do here is we want to go here for for event and pie game dot event dot get. We want to check if that event is if event dot type is equal to quit 
then we want to quit. And I forgot something we were, we were supposed to do earlier, is we need to define self in each one of these. That allows us to access the variables stored inside our own class. So now after we have this quit function, we're going to need to call it from the other things. So here in our update, we should also have a def render. Def render. Self. Render a screen. Self dot screen dot fill. Let's go here to sky blue for now. Because it's a nice color. So here in main, I'm gonna go here with while. But I forgot to update the screen. Hiking dot display dot update That's gonna make sure that it automatically refreshes after everything's done drawing. While this is true. We wanna do our update. First, we want to do our start. Why does it keep freezing? I actually don't need this wall tree. We'll just call that uh, update method. So we don't need our start method yet. Or these should be above the main. So it should be update, start, then we can do this. And the update should be below it. Now that we have this, we can go here with a while true. So this will loop through this forever until this thing calls it calls the quit function, which causes it to quit the code. So while true, we're gonna do our events. And then we want to render our screen. Not gonna do anything while you're running because it's still in the class. We need to call it. So it's not yelling at you for any errors, so that means you're doing something good. G is equal to a game. This will create our game class. So we get access to all these. And we can call them. I'm going to go g dot main. If we run this, we had an error. Oh, I forgot. But you need to put self dot on all these events. I forgot about that. Sorry. Self dot. Self dot. Self dot. That's because all our events are built into the class, so we need to call them through the self thing. So now if we run it again, we get our window. It closed everything. Why'd I open that up? So now that we have our window, we should also probably look at how we're supposed to draw isometric tiles. So to get an isometric tile, 
we want to draw two dots at the top of our 32 by 32 grid. We're going to keep going down to down one, because this is a line equation for isometric else and stuff. I'm going to go one here. I'm only on the top one, so do this. Now we almost have our tiles finished. So now what we can do is draw this here. And now we're going to need to shade them. So we're going to want to fill this side with the darker side. So we're going to fill the other side with the lighter color. This looks really terrible. I need to just make a different palette. And this is some random palette I just found. I don't even know where it's from. And now we have a nice looking palette. So this is going to be our isometric uh, sprite sheet. Or not sprite sheet. Our tile that we're going to draw. Now we're going to make our player. So I think for our player we're going to go with something similar to either these capsule. It's going to be pixel light. 15, 12, 13, 12, 10. So 10, 0. Duh. That's not how I want it to look. Yeah, I'm gonna have to draw this by hand. Let's make it this color. Let's stop. Zoom. Two, one. Now let's. Divide it by two for shading. Let's make one side of our player blue. And the other side light blue. And now we have a good enough player. This stuff is really important. So to get this to work, we need to set this to the exact number of pixels we want. Let's go here to 64 by 64, so we're multiplying this by 2 to make it slightly bigger. So like about that big. And we also want to download it as a zip, so we can get each one. I'm going to download without a prefix to make it easier to read. So we just have a 0 and a 1. I'm going to extract this on my, ex on my extra mon or ex or second monitor. So now we can drag each one into the file spam. Now we're going to rename them to tile.png. And we're going to rename this one to player.png. And, and due to preventing this thing to get any longer, since we already have like maybe 30 minutes of uh, clips, I think we're going to stop it here today. Bye.